starting out at Ross. Now, Ross, you need to be a hit or miss when it comes to finding any type of Dragon Ball. Fans. But in this Ross, we did find actually a decent amount of them. I did find a Solid Edge Works Gildo for only about $17. I then proceeded to turn my head and ended up seeing a Dragon Stars Piccolo, which did surprise me because I was not expecting to see this, especially with it being their original Piccolo release that they did release. Now, all the Dragon Stars at Ross do usually go for about $14.99, so pretty much like $15 and something at the tag, which does make the figure super cheap and, in my opinion, worth picking up. I did also see a decent amount of the McFarlane DC figures sitting over here, which I was not expecting to see. I'm going to take a wild guess to say that they got way more stock than usual because Christmas is coming up and it's making it easier on people to buy some toys for their kids. But as you can see, we did also find a base form Vegeta in the Dragon Stars line. And like I said, same thing. It was going for only 15. And not only did I find a base form Vegeta, but as I was leaving the toy aisle, I did actually see out the corner of my eye a Dragon Ball Super Trunks as well. Yeah, man, they definitely had a decent amount of stuff in this Ross today as far as Dragon Ball. But with that being said, we're going to go to the next location. All right, man. As y'all can see, we pulled up the target. We finna go ahead and see what they got. Pull it up to the collector's aisle. Let's go ahead and just go straight to the figure wars. I know not. Ain't no way that we got all these Gohans just chilling over here, man. As y'all can see, they are fully stocked. It look like they were freshly stocked of the Gohans. As well as they do got a bunch of the same race on our Gokus back there down here as well. And they do also have some of them Naruto's laying around. But that is crazy. I was not expecting to run into this. Make sure that if you're looking for the superhero Gohan, you is check your target. Because as you can see, man, they are fully stocked with them. They also do, like I said, got a fresh batch of the same race on our Goku. Yeah, man, as far as anything else over here being Dragon Ball, they do got a bunch bunch of Dragon Ball Evolving, got Trunks, got Gogeta, some more Trunks back there. We do got the Dragon Stars Target Exclusive Vegeta right here, a bunch of Ultra Instinct Son Goku's cooling right here. There is Dragon Ball Evolved literally all over the shelf right here. We also do have hidden over here a Super Saiyan 2 Goku cooling back there. I don't think there's anything behind it all. Just a Super Saiyan 2 Goku chilling right there as far as anything goes. We do also have some of the Dragon Stars Power Up Pass. We got a Super Saiyan Vegeta, a Gotenks, a Super Saiyan Goku, and a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta chilling back there. They got a bunch of NECA stuff over here for the stock. The whole entire aisle is pretty much stock, man. As y'all can see, it's a bunch of stuff. But yeah, man. They definitely got it fully stocked over here. This is just crazy, bro. I was not expecting to run into this. I was thinking I was going to see the Superhero Vegeta again, but I was not expecting the Superhero Kohan. As you can see, they definitely have a decent amount of they also, like I said, have the same resin of Goku and it is Naruto. So make sure if you is looking for these figures, you are checking your target. We finna go to the toy aisle. Now, I honestly don't know what Target's been doing with a toy aisle, but this joint was just sad. It's pretty much the same stuff we've been seeing, the same Transformers, the same DC stuff, literally from top to bottom. And on top of that, as soon as I turned to go to the Marvel Legends, it was the same exact case for the Marvel Legends. There was nothing over there. But I did end up finding a Spider-Man from Into the Spider-Verse. I'm guessing at some point they did have a wave of the Into the Spider-Verse figure. But as you can see, somebody definitely bought them all out, and that's usually how it goes. And that's pretty much all they have for the toy aisle. We finna go to the next location. All right, man, as you can see, we pulled out the Best Buy. We finna go here and see what they got. Best Buy, Best Buy, Best Buy. Now, when it comes to Best Buy, it is either gas or ass up in this place. Now, I ain't even gonna lie. I will honestly say it's the second alternative because as far as Dragon Ball, we didn't really see too much other than a bunch of statues up in here. The only figure arts they did have in stock was the SH figure arts Taj Jar, and I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. I'm tired of seeing this figure. All right, man, we did just pull up to Walmart. We finna go here and see what they got. Now, the first anime section I did stop at was straight doo -doo, but i ended up turning the corner and actually finding something decent all right man pulling up to the little collector section as you can see y'all real bunch of these super saiyan got goku still chilling here man they are fully stocked so if you are looking for those again make sure you is check your walmart they do also up here have a bunch of dragon stars you got the freezer you got majin boo you got super saiyan 2 goku majin vegeta we got super saiyan 4 vegeta and we also have a super baby 2 back there as well yeah man definitely a good amount of dragon ball stuff it is still crazy to see this many of these super saiyan god goku sitting up in walmart like this so again if you was looking for this make sure you is check your walmart because they should have it in stock sliding up in to the toy aisle i'm not gonna lie to you it is gonna be the same as that stuff we've been seeing as far as transformers it's just a bunch of transformers one stuff now as far as the little dragon ball section in the toy aisle we definitely had a decent amount of stuff we had a super saiyan vegeta ultra instinct goku and a super saiyan blue vegeto as well as a base form goku another super saiyan blue vegeto and a super saiyan vegeta in the back in the limit breaker series we did also have a bunch of new stock from that new wave of dragon ball evolve figures whether it was super saiyan 3 goku base form goku base form vegeta and we did in the 
the back also have a Walmart exclusive Super Saiyan Vegeta. Now I ain't even gonna lie, sliding into the DC y'all, I automatically seen this new gold label Superman and I literally had to fight everything in myself not to pick this up bro. It just looked too loud. And not only did I find a new gold label Superman, but I also did find a new gold label Green Lantern as well. And for only $20, I ain't even gonna lie, I might have to start grabbing some of these. Cause if you don't know man, I'm literally into everything, whether it's DC, Marvel, Star Wars, Transformers, even horror movies. That's why the channel is named The Figureverse. So I definitely might have to grab them in the next figure hunt. All right, man, as you can see, we did just pull up the Ollies. We finna go over here and see what they got. All right, man, sliding into the toy, y'all. Let's see what they got over here. We ain't even gonna waste no time over here because y'all don't want to see none of this stuff. Coming down here to the Marvel Legends. As you can see, we still got a bunch of these Bucky Barnes, Captain America's, a bunch of them, literally from top to bottom. We also do down here got Killmonger from the What Up series. Got some Valkyries. Ain't gonna lie, it is looking like it's gonna be the same exact stuff that's been here, though, which I would have thought it would have been updated by now that there's some new Transformers. <laughs> really, bro? Ooh. Really, right now? Like I was saying, like I was saying before I was interrupted, there is some Transformers. This is all new. This was not here, so. They did get some random transformers in, but clearly don't nobody want that. That's nope. the reason it's here. The rest of the stuff down here. It is gonna be a bunch of stuff we already seen here. Got the Boca Tan, bunch of Star Wars stuff. Yeah, man, nothing really new over here, which is surprising. You would have thought they would have updated at least something or got something new in stock, but it's not really looking like it. It is gonna be all the same type of Marvel Legends, so we finna go to the next location. Now, I ain't even gonna lie, this comic book store do be having a bunch of figure wars in stock, but the biggest problem with it is all of they shit is overpriced as fuck. And it really do be pissing me off because why are y'all charging more than these things go for online? This shit don't make no sense. Let alone when you charging more for a pre-owned figure that it goes for online brand new. Like, make that make sense, bro. That makes zero sense. <laughs> Y'all did not see that. Yeah, man. That's why y'all never see me get anything in here unless it is a Dragon Stars because the figure wars would be too overpriced. A perfect example of what I'm talking about is this Dragon Star sale right here, which is my old figure, so it was pre-owned. They got this thing priced at 37 Again, the box is not sealed. This is my old figure that I ended up selling to them, bro. I can literally go online right now and buy this figure for $27.30, brand new sealed. They are out there rabbit ass mind and they think somebody gonna pay $37 for a used Dragon Stars figure. But yeah, man, the rest of this clip is gonna be me looking around the store to see what they got. I hope y'all enjoy it. Alright man, we pulling up to the last location today. It's gonna be another Walmart. We're finna go here and see what they got. Now, as far as this Walmart man, as y'all can see, they do have the Transformer stuff fully stocked. They did have a studio series Optimus Prime for Transformers 1. But as far as finding anything else in this toy, uh, I'm not gonna lie, this gotta be the worst Walmart when it comes to finding anything. Whether it was Marvel Legends, DC, Star Wars, even the Sonic area, bro, they ain't have nothing in stock over here. But as y'all can see, as I was heading to the figure art section, I did run into a bunch of these Sonic 3 figures right here, bro. Now, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I definitely was surprised when I seen all of these figures, let alone all of these shadow figures. I know they're super rare and hard to get right now. So for to see all of these at once was definitely crazy to see. I mean, they literally had this thing fully packed with shadow, tails, and Sonic. But yeah, man, it definitely was a crazy sight to see. Coming into the little anime section they got over here, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. This Walmart gotta be the worst Walmart on the planet, bro. They don't never had nothing, whether it's the anime section, the toy section, the collector section. It is just straight trash. All they had up in here was this lame bar a two pack that don't nobody want all right man as y'all can see we are back at the crib and as y'all seen in today's hub video man they definitely were loaded up pretty much everywhere with figure words today i definitely wasn't expecting to see the superhero gohan and target today that definitely caught me off guard and as y'all seen at the walmart we did go to again they had a bunch of the super saiyan god goku's fully stocked we also did see a couple other figure arts out there today i didn't end up grabbing the gohan because i'm probably the only person on the planet that do not care about gohan but if you are looking for gohan make sure you are check your target as well as if you look up for any of the other figure arts we've seen in this video make sure you are check out walmart best buy and target with that being said if you like the video make sure you leave a like you do make sure you subscribe to the namal stay tuned